Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the additional skill RPA developer series and the topic which we have chosen is databases. Prior to this video in the playlist, we have already covered the basics of databases with the help of SQL Server Management Studio. So in case you want to know more about the SQL Server, you can watch this playlist. This will guide you all the details, everything about SSMS in a step by step manner. Now in this playlist, we have started exploring the other database, which is called the PostgreSQL. Okay. So in the last video, we have seen how you can install PostgreSQL. And after that, I am receiving queries that we have installed it, but we are finding it difficult to launch the PostgreSQL. So this video dedicatedly, I am going to guide you how you can launch PostgreSQL. In case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in this playlist. Having said that, let's get started. Okay, so I am assuming that you have already installed the PostgreSQL admin or I would say the PostgreSQL database. In case not, you can watch this video and that will guide you in a step by step manner how you can do that. Okay. Once you have installed to launch the PG admin, all you have to do is go to the respective drive where you have done the installation. So for me, I have done the installation in the C drive. So I'll go to my C drive, double click and open that. Okay. So in the C drive, you have something which is called program files. I'll go to the program files, right? This location might be different depending on what you have chosen during the installation. Okay. So now in the program files, you would have something which is called PostgreSQL. Okay. So this is the folder guys in the C program file PostgreSQL open that folder. Now inside that folder, you would have one different folder. This exactly is the version which you have installed. So for us, we have installed the 15. So that's why it is showing 15. Depending on what you choose to install from the website, you will have that folder. Okay. Double click and open that. Okay. So inside that you would have a folder which is called the PG admin 4. Okay. So within 15, you would have something which is called PG admin 4. Then after the PG admin 4, you just go to this one, which is called the runtime. Okay. And inside the runtime, look for something which is called PG admin 4 application. So this guy, which is called PG admin 4.exe, this will actually give you the admin panel for the PostgreSQL. Double click on it and you would see this kind of pop up, which says that waiting for the PG admin 4 to start. Okay. So it will initially on whenever you are opening it for the first time, it might take one or two minutes, but after that it will be very fast. So what meanwhile it is opening, what I would suggest is that you can just right click on this and create send to desktop and create a shortcut for it. Now, every time you don't have to come to this location, you can just go to the desktop and click on this, right? And as you can see that now I have successfully opened my PG admin for, I can go to the servers and I can see all the information here. Okay. Now let's say some fine day you are not able to get this exe here, right? So what you can do is, you can again come back to the C drive, go to the program files, find this guy, which is PostgreSQL, right? Here you have only one folder and now here it can be anywhere. Let's say you are not able to find, right? Just come to this folder and here in the search, search this thing, PG admin 4 dot exe right dot exe means i am looking for executable i am looking for that application whose name is pg admin 4 click enter and windows should search the pg admin 4 dot exe okay and you can see that it is showing me exactly the same location c program files postgresql 15 runtime right you can right click on it you can say open the file location and that should directly bring you to that location 
okay so that was all about launching the postgre sql if you have any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well so with that i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation Thank you.